European traders. Bit of a late start today in this sort of holiday shortened week. We're looking at Euro yen and dollar yen downside today. We've had a bid here at 70 in Euro yen for the last couple of hours. We're waiting for that to break. Uh, and then we will add through 57 and then again add through 19. We like Euro yen lower today. Driven primarily by dollar yen, which we see going through 111.90 this morning. Let's keep an eye on fixed income. We need boons above 163.30 for this all to get going. Um, but this is the direction we like. We're buying yen today. We're looking for a little bit of risk off or we're looking for a little bit more bad news out of Europe. Elsewhere, S&P's printed the 2600 high. Bit of a rejection up there. Down to 94.5 in the overnight. Uh, but not really too much to do with that. Cable, we got some budget testimony today. It's been capped at 61. Um, but we're looking for deficits to be reduced, actually, and spending to be reduced by the government. So we might see a bid in cable during the testimony. If we do, 80 is probably the point on the top side where we're going to get some, some clear air, but we have highs at 61, we've got highs at 67, and also that high at 80. What else is going on out there? Kiwi. Market short Kiwi. Turned into 53 high last night. This is the 200 hour moving average up here at 61. You can't really get bullish until you get through this this moving average here. But the market seems quite short Kiwi. And I understand why they're short Kiwi. The macro not, macroeconomic story is not good. But this could create some pain if the shorts do get squeezed. We have these Scandinavian currencies that printed shocking highs yesterday. Euro, Swe Euro Sweden through 10. And we have this unbelievable double top in Euro Norway, 979.70. We broke the neckline this morning. We haven't really done any work on the downside. But with oil where it is, it's hard to understand why Euro Norway was up there. This bar here, this daily bar, that is very bearish. We don't trade the Scandies too much, but the rejection, the engulfing from basically, I don't know, close to uh, three year highs, that's pretty bearish. Not much else to talk about for now. Uh, we're just going to focus on uh, this dollar yen downside and euro yen downside today. And we will check back in at the New York Open. Good luck, guys. Ciao.